Welcome to Journey to the Cure. Every month, we'll sit down with scientists from the Hepatitis B Foundation and the Baruch S. Blumberg Institute to talk to you about hepatitis B and efforts to find a cure for hepatitis B. There's still a long way to go, but we're here to walk you through our journey. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Journey to the Cure. I'm here today with Dr. Ajaz Saeed. Thank you for having me. <laughs> um, so let's just get started. Can you tell me about like what the connection is between hepatitis B and liver cancer? Inflammation of the liver cells is hepatitis. The you know, hepatitis even progresses into the fibrosis and scarring of the liver cirrhosis. This microenvironment, this background of you know, inflammation in the liver is basically a prelude to the development of uh, the uh, liver cancer. Mm -hmm. So hepatitis B and hepatitis C are examples of very close association between the environmental, uh, you know, agent and the development of the liver cancer. Your research is on biomarkers. Can you tell me about um, what that is? These are macromolecules which are produced by the tumor cells, cancer cells. These biomolecules are secreted into the microenvironment and they go into the plasma. You are able to detect it in the, in the body secretion. So they serve as a valuable tool in basically gauging the development of the disease. You know, the l simple levels of, you know, certain proteins, certain receptors, certain biomolecules in the, you know, in the plasma can tell us, give us a picture of, you know, if a tumor is there or not. So the, but the problem is that, you know, um, because we, we do not totally understand the pathogenic process. It's sometimes difficult to basically rely on a single or a couple of markers. So the need is basically to have a wide array, a wide repository of biomarkers you can uh, you know, use to basically detect and diagnose and not only detect and diagnose, but also later on to follow the disease process after you know after therapies after the therapies these markers go up and down would tell a clinician would tell a doctor that our strategy of treating the liver cancer is basically uh, kind of uh, you know working so i guess basically to summarize for our audience um the biomarkers are just a way to tell whether or not a cell is cancerous or not and also whether or not treatment is working for someone if they have liver cancer. Yeah, breast cancer has different biomarkers mm -hmm. because there is a different tissue. Right. Similarly, liver cancer, prostate cancer, all the pancreatic cancer, they have a favorite set of biomarkers, right. uh -huh. you know. So it is very advantageous to have a good set of very reliable, very specific biomarkers. Um, for liver cancer, do we have a wide library of biomarkers? It's a good good question, but I mean, I, I'm interested in basically getting the tumors from different stages, clinical stages, and uh, you know, getting the specimen and trying to develop living cultures, and then try to find out markers if you have if you have grade specific or stage specific markers, and that would basically give us a some kind of uh, you know some some um, ability to basically stratify patients and then say that this is low grade tumor, this is a high grade tumor, and and uh, give us that uh, kind of uh, the power to treat cancers right. differently is getting close to the personalized medicine you know oh, when yeah. looking at a specific tumor being being able to treat it uh, we are a little far away from that and if we are able to stratify patients and try to have and have great specific markers it would be more easy to basically mm -hmm. uh, control you know treat and uh, treat patients just to summarize we're still in the process of finding different biomarkers for different stages. Absolutely. There are a lot of biomarkers, as I said, that which are known. You know, right. there is alpha fetoprotein, uh, there is, uh, there is uh, uh, glypican, there is, you know, uh, these are serpents, there is apcam. There are a lot of markers. Right. But again, the problem is that they are not uh, specific and sensitive right. and reliable markers. Sometimes, you know, they pick up the, you know, the tumors, but they also are upregulated in uh, some other, you know, you know, hepatitis B infection, yeah. and as they selectively do not tell us 100% that this is a you can differentiate between cancer and non-cancer. Well, this I'm is. sure other researchers and you yourself will be able to help us find those. Services. That is the hope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is the hope. Well, thank you for joining us on this episode of Journey to the Cure. Please join us next time for our next episode. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.